Okay, so we're going to take a look at um, computer networks and scales and different sizes of computer networks. So I suppose if you think about computer networks, the most basic type of computer network is quite simply two computing devices that can be connected together via a single cable. But typically it's it's far more complex than that. So let's look at the various scales. The the smaller scale or the three most commonly used terms that we may be familiar with is the LAN, the MAN and the WAN. So let's just start with the LAN and the definition of what that means. So LAN stands for local area network and you're talking about uh, networks maybe in small offices, a house, usually one single building will contain your LAN, your local area network. Then um, when we're thinking about the MAN, the metropolitan area network, you're scaling up a bit. Often across maybe a metropolitan area, city, often owned by, um, <coughs> dispersed across the city, often owned by local authorities and so on. And finally, the largest of the network scales that we'd refer to is the WAN, the Wide Area Network. The Wide Area Network can be dispersed globally, which influences the types of technologies that might be used um, for this kind of network, maybe from city to city for a company. In fact, the most commonly, um, I suppose the technology that might be there might be satellite technology to to be messages from A to B, but the, the most commonly known, best known uh, wide area network could be the internet itself. Some other terms that might be used, you may see the term W L A N. So this is just a, uh, your, your LAN technology tip uh, itself, let's just extract that there. The LAN technology typically consists maybe of a few computers, maybe a hub device, and some cabling between computers and the hubs. The W and WLAN stands for wireless. So maybe in your typical home network, you might have laptop, computing device, um, desktop computer maybe and you might have your wireless broadband sending out the signal in a wireless fashion so the only difference between a LAN and a WLAN is that the signal instead of being wired is wireless so that's what the W stands for in WLAN the type of network that's becoming more common is PAN P here stands for personal area network an example here might be your mobile phone and your friend's mobile phone might form a personal area network on a temporary basis and the reason behind that might be that you might be using your Bluetooth connection to share photos a very common thing that can be done or even just uh, uh, these networks are often temporary in nature. You might just uh, set up your own uh, mobile phone and your own laptop computer um, for a quick Bluetooth connection as well. So personal uh, area networks, proximity within 10, 20 meters, uh, the norm here. Another term that you may come across, SAN. Here, not to be mixed up with the other terms. SAN simply refers to storage area network. So what you might have here is a LAN or a WAN, your typical hub setup if you like. Or you've got lots of computers here. And they want a dedicated storage server here with lots and lots of gigabytes to store um, your data here and to share your data. So. shared storage. Lots of things can be shared of course over the network such as internet connection, printers, 
um, <clears throat> and files and folders. So a storage area network is a device that would specialize in files and folders, particularly large capacity files and folders, with some sort of device probably in there that uh, enables you to transmit data at high speeds along the cabling, along the transmission media here. <laughs> In this video tutorial, we review the concept of a computer network just being devices connected uh, with one another from the smaller scale of two single devices. Then we introduce the term of LAN being the local area network usually confined within a uh, business for a small uh, business or office or home network, a metropolitan area network spread across the city and a more global area network being a wide area network. We then review the term WLAN, which is just a LAN which uses the wireless connectivity. Mobile communications have seen the advent of the term PAN, personal area network, where devices as, such as mobile phones uh, would be using uh, temporary Bluetooth connections to, to form networks. And finally, we looked at SAN, just to differentiate it from the network sizes. A SAN it doesn't refer to the size of a network, it, it refers to a type of, of network technology that is dedicated to storage.